tasting everything about it, and I love it! Just... Mm. Spooktober is coming, and we have a great creeper to welcome you. Scorn! A truly unique-looking horror-themed game developed by Ebb Software and published by Kepler Interactive, bringing this super weird H.R. Geiger-inspired looking thing. The word that I just keep repeating is creepy and sometimes disgusting. Just, I mean, look at it! This biomechanical distortion of human and other parts creates not only atmosphere but style and feel that to this day I have not seen in games. Yes, we have our odd sections in games that kinda come close to looking like this, Dead Space comes to mind the most. Though legendary Geiger's work comes to life in this 3D space and it's astonishing to behold. Now, I did contact publisher for the chance to go through the preview version of it and it was worth every second, especially when it's just an hour long. It's interesting that I see more and more games release demos and I'm so glad to see this trend returning cause yes, I was interested in Scorn before, but but now, after having played and had a little bit of a taste for real, I can say it could seriously be one of the more unique games in the last 5, if maybe not 10 years. Still, all of it is, well, for the most part due to the looks. But how does it play? Well, it's basically a puzzle game with some shooter elements that we can tell from the trailer. Obviously, in the previous you don't get to see how full game works, but it seems that the emphasis is clearly is on the puzzles, where you get to interact with all the disgusting, weird and truly alien semi-machine. Honestly, at some point I thought that xenomorphs might jump off the woodwork. Uh, I mean, flesh work. Oh, gods. Now, style-wise, there are differences between Geiger's work and this game's uh, art style overall, but as a homage, they did a damn good job. So, well done, Ebb. Looking forward to truly disgusting October. Mm, the sound design overall, it's, again, it's not horror. It's just extremely creepy. And I fucking love it. It's such a unique take on things. Now that I think of it, this technically could count as a horror thing, because it genuinely is horrifying, but it's different kind of a horror than we are used to. It, it's the creep factor, it's not relying on these horrible things that just flash in your screen or worse, jump scares. It just creates that atmosphere, the ambience. Can those animations and those imprecisions in bioorganics. Oh, love it. There goes his arm. Now he's half harmless. Ha! Okay, so. Okay. Needs one, I think. Nope. That. Mm, yoink. Heck, good enough. City planets. Farms. Alright. Music, oh, wonderful. Could use a little bit more environmental uh, sounds, but other than that, the music, yep, it pretty much works. Oh, <laughs> 
hello. Oh, -ho! <laughs> oh I see. Bravo! Yep. No better selling than actually trying to play through it. Seriously, developers and publishers, Kepler and uh, Software, go and make a demo available for everyone, because oh, this is good. Really creepy. I love it.